Today on BRS TV Investigates, we test our first larger panel style LED light, the Orphic Atlantic V4 Compact, and find out how closely this 13 by 9 inch LED panel will perform to a bank of T5 bulbs, as well as find out if it meets the PAR goals for LPS and SPS tanks like yours. Hi, I'm Randy with this Friday's BRS TV Investigates, where we experiment on our own tanks so you don't have to experiment on yours. And today we find out if there's a noticeable benefit to a panel style LED with the smaller Orphic Compact over some of its industry's more common puck style LEDs that distribute light from more compact LED clusters. This actually leads me to one of the unique features of the Atlantic Orphic Compact in that, unlike several of the other lights we've tested so far, the array of 42 different LED colors actually looks pretty good with all channels at 100%. And although we slightly tweak the channels to create the BRS recommended settings, you'll see in just a bit, that means that with this light, we're still able to use more of the available output, which is the definition of more bang for your buck. So with that, let's begin sharing our BRS recommendations that we created from a series of tests that will help us determine how many we need, how high to optimally mount the Orphic, how to properly space multiple lights, and where we would set those LED channels to attain a stunning LPS or SPS tank that you can brag about. Getting started with how many compact Orphix are required to meet those goals when developing our BRS recommended settings for all of our light tests, we keep two tank type paths in mind. The first is a predominantly LPS tank like this or a softy tank like these or somewhere in between. And a second tank goal is one completely filled with large mature colonies of SPS and Acroporas like this dream tank here. So if your goal is that first stunning type of tank filled with LPS softies and polyps, based on our tests, I'm gonna recommend that you use a single Orphic Compact over a two square foot, 60 gallon cube like this. However, if you've got a larger tank in mind and want to achieve the same LPS goals, I'm gonna recommend using two of these fixtures to get that job done. On the opposite side of that tank goal for the 60 gallon cube or similar size tank, if your tank is already loaded with branching SPS colonies or your dream is to achieve that goal in the future, I would recommend upgrading to the larger Atlantic V4 fixture which we've already seen tested over this same tank. As for using Orphic Compacts on a 120 gallon system like ours to create that show-stopping SPS tank, our tests are about to show you how to accomplish that using three Orphic Compacts mounted perpendicular to the tank, which can actually end up saving you hundreds of dollars over the other high-end options. And we show you how to do this right, starting first with optimal mounting height. Before we get into the mounting height data, I will say that this is one fixture where they openly recommend that you mount it high for optimal spread and distribution. And as we're about to find out, that recommendation is actually pretty spot on. But in this case, it's really easy to achieve those heights for those who want to use the Orphic over their tank when you use the Orphic tank mounts to reach those upper mounting heights. That said, as in all of our mounting height tests, we start with the fixture mounted at just six inches off the top of the water and test as we raise them inch by inch until we find that sweet spot where with a 792 center and a 63 outer ring, we can see right away that the compact Orphic will be better served higher off the water. When we got to eight inches off the water, we saw a slight improvement to the center, this time down to 648, as well as a slight improvement to the distribution in the outer edges, now up to 91 par. We continue to test inch by inch where we check in at 12 inches off the top of the water, and now we're really seeing dramatic improvement at reducing the center hotspot, now to just 459, and solid gains in par in the outer ring, now to 123, but at only an 8% loss overall average par from the six inches where we started. But we haven't hit the optimal mounting height just yet. We achieved that when we stopped the test and reached 16 inches. At 16 inches above the tank, we saw the most improvement that smoothed out the center hotspot to just 340 and a solid 148 outer ring par for a great example of distribution in this 24 by 24 inch space. Making 16 inches our BRS recommended mounting height for the Orphic Compact V4. The next section of our testing is specifically for those of you following our BRS recommendation for how many compacts we believe to be optimal for a four foot, 120 gallon system like ours, starting with how to properly space two fixtures for those lower light demand coral dream tanks. 
Our goal for this test is to find a spacing setup where the outer edges of the tank are within 75% or more of the center, meaning that the light is spread as evenly as possible, and we begin that test with two Orphix mounted horizontally at 16 inches on center from the left and right edges of our test tank. In this spacing, we find that a majority of the light intersects right in the center, showing a 315 par average, while the outer edges fall within only 46% of that, testing at 144 average. We space the lights further apart by 1 inch to 15 inches on center and only see a minor improvement to the edges, now at 54% of the 290 center, while with them spaced at 14 inches on center, they now have gained even more spread to 66%, but still under our goal. Finally, we land on our BRS recommended spacing for two Orphic compacts, this time at 13 inches on center from the edges of the tank, where we are able to spread the light towards the edges within 78% of the now softened center par of 237. Because of the lens design for the Orphic and the higher mounting height they recommend, in this spacing we're able to spread the light so evenly that there's only a 51 average par difference across the entire four feet of tank, but let's see if we can achieve the same even spread using three compacts for those SPS dominated tanks. Using the rectangular shape of the Orphic Compact V4s to our advantage, we mounted three of them perpendicular to a four foot tank and began our spacing test with them centered at 12, 24, and 12 inches, which divides the 48 inches evenly. Again, with our 75% goal in mind, we see here that in this configuration, we're only able to achieve 55% of the average par in the edges versus the 406 par center of the tank. And so we move the outer Orphix one inch further away from the center now to 11, 24, and 11 inches on center. As expected, there is an improvement in the edges, but not quite to our goal just yet, as we now see the average par in the extremes of the tank reach just 63% of this 375 center. We test again with the outer fixtures moved to 10 by 24 by 10 inches on center, which falls very close to our 75% goal we're looking for this time, now at 71%. However, with the Orphix lens design allowing us to push the outer fixtures closer to the edges without sacrificing light spill into the surrounding room, we space them further apart one more time. Now with the light centered at 9 by 24 by 9 inches, we find the outer limits of the tank now within 78% of the center with only a 72 par difference between the two averages, giving us our BRS recommended spacing for three fixtures, which has them centered across our four foot tank at 9, 24, and 9 inches. Next, we look at the spectrum output that the Orphic Compact and its array of 42 LEDs produces in terms of a spectrum that we would use for coral health and coloration, how that spectrum looks when compared to ATI Blue Plus T5 bulb, and what we can expect for shimmer in our tanks with emphasis on how well the light blends each individual LED into one smooth color or spectrum. Taking a look first at the available color channels and what spectrum we would use for the Orphic Compact V4, there are four controllable channels to choose from, and as I mentioned earlier, this is one of the only LED fixtures we've tested where the tank actually looks pretty good with all channels set to 100%. However, in this case, we followed a similar approach to choosing a BRS recommended spectrum ratio that we have for other lighting options. In order to do that, we maximize as much of the blue, UV, and violet channels as possible, which for the Orphic means we set channel 2 and 3 to 100%. Then we add in any available white channels until the tank has a pleasing look to the eye, which landed us on channel 1, also set to 100%. Finally, we add in any available red and green channels to bring out some color accents in the corals, which we decided look best with channel four set to 25%. Using the BRS recommended spectrum we just created and comparing that to the ATI T5 Blue Plus spectrum we see here, the Orphic actually has a bit more to offer in that near UV range below 420 nanometers, yet is still slightly thinner in its spectrum between 420 and 480, which is about par for the course among most of the lights that we've tested. Next, we move on to shimmer and color blending with a look at how well we can expect a large panel of separated LEDs to blend each color together inside our tank. 
In order to get a good idea of what this looks like, we test the spectrum under our 60 gallon cube 10 times while the surface of the water creates ripples in the tank simulating our tanks at home. As we cycle through those 10 testing points, we do see nearly each part of the spectrum band shift, sometimes subtly and sometimes more than that, which I wouldn't have expected with the light mounted at 16 inches off the surface of the water, but likely related to the use of individual lenses for each LED. This is one area where we would have hoped to see better performance. All right, so now that we've tested the Orfic Compact's optimal mounting height, spacing, and spectrum, let's tie all of that together and provide you with direct BRS recommended settings that you can use as plug and play templates if you're looking to set up this fixture over your own tank similar to our 60 and 120 gallon test systems. We provide these BRS recommended templates using the same LPS and SPS tank goals that we based all of our light testing criteria around, starting first with those goals for those stunning LPS softy and polyp tanks, which we believe is best achieved by covering as much of the tank as possible from top to bottom within 75 to 150 par. Our first set of BRS recommendations to reaching this tank type goal using the Orfic Compact starts on tanks similar to our two square foot 60 gallon cube, where we proportionally turn down our recommended spectrum ratio mix to channel one, two, and three at 55% and channel four at 14%. At those settings, we found 76% or 82 out of 108 testing points hitting our target par range of 75 to 150 and exactly where we would use the Orphic on our own LPS tanks. Keeping those same par goals and dreams of show-stopping LPS tanks in mind for our 120 gallon four foot tank, our BRS recommended template has us using two compacts spaced in this configuration and our custom spectrum ratio mix turned down evenly to channels one, two, and three set to 50%, while channel four was set to 12%. Using this setup, we're able to test 152 out of 198 data points, or 77% within our target for a solid lighting option to create the tank type that we're looking for. However, in a world where we want our tank covered in branching SPS, we believe tanks like this are best achieved when we can fill as much of the tank from top to bottom in average par ranges between 200 and 350. In order to get this job done on a 60 gallon cube, given the Orfic Compact's recommended mounting height and par output using our spectrum ratio, we find that it just doesn't reach as much of that 200 to 350 range throughout the tank that we're looking for. However, with some SPS placed near the top and upper third of the tank, we believe that a single compact on this size of tank would be a solid choice for a mixed reef tank. If you're still looking to use an Orphic to create that wall-to-wall -wall SPS tank in our 24 inch by 24 inch cube example, I'd recommend considering the compact's bigger brother, the full-size Atlantic V4. When we look at our four foot 120 gallon tank, where we actually have the space to utilize multiple Orphic compacts to achieve those SPS dominated tank types, we recommend using three fixtures to accomplish that using this BRS recommended spacing and then setting them to 100% for channels one, two, and three with channel four at 25%. In setting them up this way, we tested a stellar 87% of the entire tank from left to right and top to bottom, which is 172 out of 198 points, hitting that 200 to 350 par range we're looking for. You know, after seeing today's data for the Orphic Compact, this is a classic example of choosing the right tool for the right job, specifically if your hood, canopy, or even personal desire has you mounting your lights around 16 inches off the tank. This is perfect solution to get that done, and even better is that it comes with a wide spectrum including UV, near UV, violet, and actinic that really make the corals pop. If you look around the reefing groups and forums, you'll likely find a pretty large group of reefers using these Orphic panel style LEDs to create awesome looking tanks that many of us dream about. And a shining example of that is Sean's 2000 gallon mixed reef covered in Orphics that Ryan and I recently toured, which you can see in this video right over here.